ओके हाय फ्रेंड्स गुड आफ्टरनून सो वेलकम बैक श्री कृष्णा सॉफ्ट स्किल्स ओके सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू ए न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज कॉल्ड एज ए इंक्रीमेंटल रिफ्रेश ओके इन पावर बीए सो व्हाट इज द इंक्रीमेंटल रिफ्रेश एंड हाउ इट विल वर्क एंड व्हाट आर द स्टेप्स टू इन्वॉल्व टू क्रिएट अ इंक्रीमेंटल रिफ्रेश ओके सो देन वी विल सी लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड बिफोर गोइंग टू topic then so please if you haven't subscribed my channel yet so please subscribe and do bell icon for a updated videos okay yeah so what is the incremental refresh first for a in it is a incremental refresh is a powerful factor in a power bi okay so it helps you load the data whichever you necessity that means for example you have a millions of records but we don't want to load all the records in general the data gets refreshed okay you know last one week or last 10 days or last one month data you want to be like uh, loaded that's the, by using the incremental refresh okay so with the help of this feature then we will load specific time period data loaded into the power bi okay so that is called as a incremental so then we will see the what are the steps to involve the incremental refresh okay then we will see the the steps are involving what are those steps so those steps are first you define the filter in parameter okay then see one by one you define the filter parameter okay how you define the parameter yeah let's get started in my power bi so this is the data this is the dim date table and the fact internet sales table two tables i have taken okay now i am going to the power query editor transform the data the first step so now we created the uh, go to the fact internet sales table then go to the parameter go to the new parameter okay so which one the range starts okay the range starts start okay this is the time is the like date and time and any value so here you will give the uh, 010720005 actually i have data is a like this only okay that is the reason just i am giving the this data date and time okay yeah yeah second one the range end range and here also same you will take the date and time and here you will take the like 07 and 07 and 2005000000 time okay because of we are taken the date and time so that is the reason i have taken the time okay now the first step has completed Give one second. Yeah, I have completed the first step. The second step is what is so after use the parameters to apply the filter. Okay, then we will apply the filter. Okay, now we go to this one back in the sales table. Go to the choose column and go to the order date column. Okay, you see the order date column. It is there like one seven data and all the data is there. So now you want to apply the filter go to the custom filter and you will like is after is after or equal then you will give the parameter so this is the range starts okay second one is the is before okay then here also you will the select parameter this is the starts range end okay now you see this data only you will this dates from 172005 to 772005 data only to be loaded okay yeah you see this is only the 17 data 27 37 47 57 67 okay yeah we have completed the second one then now we will close and apply you now see this uh, figures will change this data will change because of only i have you see only this is the 2005 only this is data came okay yeah now the third step is what is the third step 
define the incremental refresh policy in Power BI desktop. Now we are in the Power BI desktop. So go to this fact in sales table and go to this. This is here. You see the incremental refresh. Then you click the incremental refresh here. Okay. Here you observe. Unable to confirm M query is a folded. So it is not recommended to incremental refresh. We non folded query. Okay. So now if it is you connected as a direct query only when you connect the import mode only, it will do the incremental refresh. You remember this one first thing. Okay. Yeah. So here you see if you connect with the import mo uh, direct mode, for example, here it is the button not enabled if you try. Okay. Yeah, now just I opened okay. Then you see this is the like my dot my my starting date is this one. This is the 10 years data. Okay, but now incrementally I want to 30. So one month data. Last one month. Okay. Yeah, otherwise uh, I don't have the one month data, so that is the reason. Just I am selected as a uh, last two. 60 days data, for example, 60 days. Yeah, so this is now. Then if you choose only refresh completed days, for example, whatever the refresh completed date, and then you see the apply. Okay, now, if you before this going to, then you save the, this data. So this data, I will be saving in this my data set. This, this is the incremental. One, already incremental report is there, then incremental one. So now the fourth step is what is then publish the file into Power BI service. Okay, Power BI service. Service. Yeah, fourth step I'm publishing. You see the publishing. Now the my workspace is PBA developer. Okay, then you see. But once you publish this data, you may not, you cannot download data from the Power BI service. So that is the reason. Just you save the data here somewhere, and then you publish. Because of, if you publish this data, if you don't save anything anywhere, then you cannot download the data. Okay, you remember this one. Second thing. Okay, I'm going to the my. Power BI service. You see, when I open, yeah, this is the my report. Okay, this is only. You see, this is only one report. I am trying to download this file. You see, you have, you cannot download this file because the data set was altered through the incremental refresh. Okay, this is the. You will observe. Okay, this is how you are doing the incremental refresh. The first thing. These are the four steps. The first step should define the parameter range start in a range end two parameters. And after you use the parameters to apply the filter and define the incremental refresh policy in Power BI desktop. Fourth is the Power BI service publishing to the here. You see from start level to end Power BI service. You have to some transformations in Power Query Editor and you have some transformation in Power BI desktop and you have some transformations in Power BI service okay so this is end to end so the power uh, incremental refresh when you do then you may idea of all the power bi components okay uh, what are the advantage of this one the refresh as a faster and then refresh are like reliable reliable okay second thing is third one is the resource consumption to reduce for example if you have the this resource option then you maybe re reduce the consumption okay yeah this is the how we are doing the incremental refresh hope you like this video please like it and share it if you subscribe this if you haven't subscribed my channel so please subscribe channel and do bell icon for more updated videos okay thank you thank you very much